Welcome back to Extreme One Chunk Varlamore Edition. This is episode 5. Uh, in last episode, if you didn't watch, we managed to make some progress. Uh, we actually went back and finished a chunk task that we completely missed. Um, in this episode, we're going to go through more grinding. Uh, and we actually complete one task, so keep your eyes out and uh, check at the end and see what it is. Also, I'm going to steal an idea from another chunk man. Uh, I'll throw his... Uh, account name here on the screen but uh, he is a birth orp uh, one chunk guy so greatly appreciate his his content his series everyone should go check it out it's, it's been fantastic uh, but I'm gonna give away a bond in this episode so please do uh, comment down below your runescape name and at the beginning of next episode I'll take a random name generated and a random comment and we will give away a bond so Greatly appreciate everybody and the progress that uh, you guys have been making on this account is, is absolutely astonishing. Uh, obviously wouldn't be here without any one of you, so greatly appreciate it and uh, thanks for joining me on this journey. Without further ado, let's get it. And this tree should get me 14 woodcutting. Alright, another kind of cool milestone as we get a bone statue. Uh, 5,000 valuables. Nice, even 5,000. We're probably gonna have somewhere close to like 220, maybe like 20,000, if I had to guess. I think that's, yeah. I mean, we're three levels away from halfway. We've got a ways to go. I'm, I'm gonna guess 18 to 20,000. It's gonna be my guess. I guess I should have just kept the recording going, but there's 66 thieving. Alright, so I believe this is a new. Amulet. I, don't, I don't think I've gotten a ruby amulet yet. I think ruby amulet and diamond amulet are the two that I haven't seen yet. But now we've got the ruby amulet. I don't know if the diamond amulet exists. If it exists, it's probably rare. That's my guess. But at least then we've got a strength amulet to go along with our defense amulet and our magic amulet. If we can get the power, that'd be pretty sweet. It'd be nice, I think, for... Like, I would use that probably, uh, like, the whole the whole time the entire grind from here <laughs> forever i don't know when i get a fury for example so uh having a power would be nice uh, and then of course the specialties is always good also i remember i was saying earlier i was getting like 35 ish kxp an hour i reset the clock the whole time now uh sitting exactly at 70k per hour and that's at level 66 thieving i don't think that's actually going to change much the 70 is kind of stagnant at what i'm doing and what I'm doing is only going based on distractions because I fail too much on the wealthy citizens. Even at 66, it's, it's a 50 to get there. Even at 66, I'm failing too much. It's eating too much of the food. It's just not worth it. So I think the way I do it now, 70k seems to be the max and probably the max ever because even here, you can't increase XP rates in this house. The only way you can increase XP rates is by getting uh, keys faster, by failing less on the wealthy citizens. And just so that we're aware of, okay, what does 70k per hour mean for the grind of getting to 75 thieving? That's about 9.7 more hours. It's basically 10, 10 hours left of this grind. And there we go. There's 67 thieving. It is getting early in the morning. It's 1 o'clock about right now. So that will be the last level for me tonight. I will get some rest and tackle it again after work tomorrow. Not a bad starting day. Not at all we'll take a look at the skilling so we ended at 14 woodcutting 5 fletching 67 um, thieving so we're almost halfway through the thieving so that's pretty good uh, we'll pick it up i'm going to continue to do the thieving grind uh get that over with as fast as i can that's the least afk uh pretty much the rest of it is just woodcutting fire making and fletching which is very afk so uh once i can finish the thieving i'll feel better and just start doing afk woodcutting you know anytime i can so yeah we'll see how it goes i might do a little bit of afk woodcutting uh tomorrow if i can uh during work or at least uh periodically like during lunch and whatnot but until now that's that's where we're gonna end it and uh as an update that i haven't done ever which i probably should do uh we've got just over two days of playtime all right see you guys tomorrow wow uh, so this got updated extremely quickly uh, overnight. I was getting like somewhere between 15 and 17 pickpockets um, during this distraction f period, and now I only got eight. Okay, so this guy just said he got 15. I think what's happening is I need to go do a different activity, 
and try to reset it. I'm going to try to go do some house robbery and in the, do, I don't know, five or six of these or something. And then we'll see, I guess, if that changes. Maybe I'll go back and see if I get 15 again. I just noticed, I'm not sure if I have said it, but we are 67 thieving at this point. All right. Good morning. Good morning. We got the diamond amulet. That is awesome. That does mean we're going to have to do a little bit of a grind. Where the heck is this thing? All right, so they changed it up on me. Now you have to click this to view all the jewelry enchantments. And then you can get into here. So that does mean if we get cosmic and earth rune even drops. And we have a consistent way to get any other rune, right? It could be just like Aaron and mind, for example. Then we will be forced to get to 57 magic so that we can enchant the diamond amulet that we just got into a power amulet that is however a, an amazing drop for this early on our grinds super super happy to have all the amulets done through this house robbery we're not even halfway through our thieving yet so this is definitely a good bonus all right there we go level 68 thieving coming in right there all right so we got a maze random here i would typically sit here and do the full hour and a half chest thing but right now i'm just not in a position to do that i will just end up finishing this and then uh grab whatever i get and continue with the thieving but eventually I'll, I'll probably sit here for some of these um and wait out the full hour and a half to get some items from these chests all right this wasn't my best attempt and speed at this but let's see what we get all right, we got five mithril ore and 91 chaos runes. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, I just missed it, but that's 15 wood cutting. That is, now we can do oak. However, we still need to get to uh, 15 fletching before we can use oak, and realistically, probably a little farther. And of course, we need 15 fire making, so we'll be at regular logs for quite a bit longer still. <laughs> <laughs> and with this should be level six fletching and there's level 16 wood cutting so we should hit seven fletching and there's level 19 wood cutting all right there we go that is level eight fletching we're almost to 10 so i'm a little late on this one because i just wasn't paying attention completely but uh i did say we were gonna do an update on bone drop at 65 we're at the funny number so I'll do one right now and we'll see what we get. So we've gotten 125 keys total. We have 34 on us currently, which means we've used 91 keys to get the 26 statues. That's about a 28% return rate. So 28% uh, of keys will give us a statue, uh, essentially one in four, a little bit better than one in four. I'm not sure what the actual rate is, but one in four is just a little bit worse than the than the 30% rate I was holding before, so we're still looking extremely horrible for uh, any type of grind for crafting. All right, and there's level 70 thieving. We are five levels away from the end of our chunk. We're doing pretty good here. As an update, we are bouncing between houses and getting the wealthy uh, citizens for the keys. We're averaging 69 um, XP per hour, uh, 69,000, sorry, XP per hour currently doing this we've got a good 450,000 xp left or something around there so we've certainly got uh, quite a ways to go probably something on the eight hour mark if i had to guess and we got our first sandwich random we got a baguette of course had to try though had to try all right we just got level 20 wood cutting i've decided to come over to this spot it actually is a little bit better spot there's less people uh so i can't socialize but there's four trees here and there still is little Julia here that uh, distracts the wealthy citizens so I can get my keys still. That's level 9 fletching. One more level and we'll start switching to longbows with these logs. It will be quite annoying because I'll fill my inventory kind of quick, like two or three trips. But it is double the XP, so I feel like it's worth it. And there's level 21 woodcutting. I'm only going to do normal longbows until 15. At that point, I'll wait until I get oak logs to continue the rest. I'll do arrow shafts to short uh, bows, and then I'll do short bows until long bows. But that doesn't mean that this grind stops. I do still need 15 fire making. So once I hit 15 fletching and stop fletching, I'll just do the same thing I'm doing right now, but switch to fire making. We'll get 15 fire making, and then I'll stop this altogether. And that's level 22 woodcutting. 
All right, and we just hit level 10. Well, now we're going to get stuck by this. But we did hit 10 fletching, and I made a longbow, so that will be now what we do. All right, and there is 71 thieving. Four to go. We just hit 23 woodcutting. All right, this is extremely important. If I get fishing random, no lucky, unlucky. All right, just did a random. It was the balloon random, and I got four uncut rubies. And we just passed level 11 fletching. And there's level 12 fletching. And there's level 24 woodcutting. Just hit 13 fletching. I'm uh, just finishing up this inventory, but we did just hit 25 woodcutting. All right, since we just got 25 woodcutting, I'm actually going to take a mini break. I'm going to run through probably all of these 41 house uh, keys. If I can't get through them all before I drop XP rates, then I'll switch back, but I think I should be okay. All right, so I'm either brain dead or slow. I'm not sure, but I did miss a new milestone. 10k valuables. Pretty nice. All right, I just missed it, of course, but there's 72 thieving. This is kind of nice because I've got this like mini timer or a calculator of like, or tracker rather, of how many clue scrolls I've had. So that's the 36th clue scroll. It says there's a clue scroll that I can search a bookcase in the Hunter's Guild. I've yet to get it in 36. I don't know how many easy clues there possibly is but i feel like i'm maybe a little bit dry uh but we'll see if eventually during this grind we'll see if i get it or not i should have just kept it going but that's 14 fletching one more level and then we'll switch to fire making i just i completely missed it but we've got two milestones i guess i could just do them at once but uh first quarter million in coins and 12,000 valuables 26 wood cutting all right with this longbow that should be what i got one more Miscalculation. All right. And with this longbow will be 15 fletching. So when we come back here, we've got full round energy. So we'll go do some houses. But when we get back here, we will end up doing fire making. All right. Just hit 73 thieving. Almost at that 75 chunk requirement. I think this is the first level that I will not be able to get within one hour of doing thieving. This is 99 XP required. I don't, I get like, Let's see 87.9 is what i'm getting per uh per hour so we'll not get this level in an hour but we will get this level well i missed it completely by like two or three houses but we just passed one mil xp in thieving one mil down a lot to go i just want to do a bit of an update so i've been doing this specific house robbery since level 50 thieving i'm now let's see level 73 it's not very important i took the the thieving xp that i have right 10 20 355 so just over a million subtracted it from whatever it took to get to level 50 which i think was just about a hundred thousand so it took me 900,000 xp of thieving to get this which is 40 statutes that's averaging at 22,975 and a half xp per statute i need 896 of these to go from zero to level 20 crafting which means i will be doing this grind until roughly 20 and a half million thieving xp which means i'll have one and a half level 99 thievings I'm 120th the way done, ish. I guess we just keep going, right? See you later. Evil Bob, please give me fishing, okay? I'm sick of these balloons, man. Gosh dang it. All right, and that's level two fire making, level three fire making, and that's level four fire making. And if this log ever lights, it'll be level five fire making and level six fire making. And that was level 7 fire making. And with this wood, will be fire making level 8. Well, that is 27 wood cutting. And that's level 9 fire making. And level 10 fire making. That's level 11 fire making. And that's level 12 fire making. Almost there to 15. This goes way quicker than Fletching did. Level 13 fire making. And level 14 fire making. We are almost there. Let's get it done. One more. Well, I got one more log. Might as well do it. But I did hit level 15 fire making. So we are done with this kind of area. There's no need to be over here anymore. We need to get to oak. So we will fletch oak. Uh, and then we'll leave fire making oak till the very end. Because there's no need to go higher than that in this chunk. 
But uh, we will continue the thieving grind and I think slowly make our way, like, I don't know, every million XP maybe we'll go over and do a couple thousand uh, fletching or something like that to kind of break up the grind. We'll see. All right, level 74 thieving. We've got one more to go before the end of the chunk task. Uh, certainly not the end of the chunk. So I missed it a while ago, but I mean, better late than never, right? Over 15,000 valuables uh 1.1 mil that means we should have this times about 20 and that's about how much we should get at the end of this all right i wasn't even paying attention i was just afking here getting house keys we did it we hit the 75 uh level requirement for the chunk so it doesn't really matter because we already got uncraft uh uncut diamonds from a random but i'm gonna go and just test out the gem stall anyways uh just to see what it kind of looks like and see if there's a safe spot for it for the future all right so my first thoughts are actually going to be these two tiles in the corner i am hoping that those two tiles um that one got marked wrong but i'm hoping these two tiles are away from this guard enough that you could steal and i'm right there so that's great i don't know if we can afk there or what but yeah, this looks great. So what we're going to be able to do is just world hop. Oh, this is actually going to be fantastic. Once we get to the actual uh, crafting grind, this is going to be really good. Because we'll just grab it, run over here, grab it, world hop. And we'll just rinse and repeat. But for now, we'll have to get back to our thieving because we are far from enough bones to be able to actually finish the chunk uh, or at least getting to the the 20 crafting but that's how it's gonna work all right so i said we're a long ways away on the bone grind i'll just quantify it for you guys so you can see here i've gotten 51 so far statues uh we're at 1.2 mil thieving xp most of that was from doing this grind some of it obviously was before i got to level 50 but ever since 50 50 to 75 i've strictly only been doing house robberies or getting keys for house robberies that 51 is 5.69 percent of what we need so we have a long way to go all right this is another day i'm i'm ending progress we are at Two days, 12 hours, uh, 1.255 million thieving XP. We finished the thieving grind for the chunk, though uh, we still need to do the crafting grind, which means we have to do more thieving. But we are at 308,641 coins, 17,201 valuables, and then I've got a remaining uh, 13 keys. This is uh, the total of bone statues. Again, we need 896. I'm going to pile them all up. And we're just going to do it all at once. But that's where we sit there. And this is the jewelry tab that we've gotten uh, throughout this grind. Well, until next time. You guys get to see it in about a blink of an eye. But for me, I'm going to go get some sleep. Good night. So I think there's two easy clue steps that we can do, air quote, do in this chunk. This is one of them, right? It's in this chunk. I shouldn't say chunk. So I think there's two easy clue steps in all of Varlamore, right? One of which is the one I just picked up, which is the museum. However, it needs a turquoise robe top, which you get from the gnome tree area, I think. So I'll never be able to do this clue step. However, as you can see, I've got a couple of these now. Now that I'm sitting here going through this, getting keys while I AFK and edit the next video. Actually, I guess here it'd be edit the previous video. But I, I haven't gotten a single one. That was, I think, 43 clue steps, I think I'm at. 43, 44 clue steps, something around there. Haven't gotten a single one. Actually, I should look on Runelight. 46. That was the 46th clue step. Has still not gotten one I complete, one I can complete. When I do get one I can complete, I will start juggling. I want to try to get three, probably, before I try to, to actually do it. I think, actually, how, with how long I'll be in this chunk, being that we need to get 20 million thieving XP, I think I actually might I, I might have a real chance at getting it. We'll see. I'm mid-editing my video, but uh, the previous video that you're seeing to this, but that was 76 thieving. We're getting there. Uh, update is 1.3 mil thieving XP. 
Um, we are on. Well, there is that one. So that's the 53 easy clues. Not, not a single step we can do. Uh, we've got 67 keys. I'm just going to sit here and I'm editing. So I'm just going to sit here and do this until I get tired. And then I'll switch over to the house. These guys have been chit-chatting for a bit. They got me to 50 subs. Really greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. They wanted to be on YouTube. So I told them to say hi. There you go, guys. There's your three seconds of fame. Love you all. They won't stop. They're still going. I got to keep the clip going. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Hey, any entertainment on this uh, 20 mil thieving grind uh, is greatly appreciated. Thanks, guys. Love you. All right. I just missed it after finishing that house, but that is 77 thieving. Okay. This is the first one we've ever had, but this is our first quiz random. We will go through this. And then we've got a very big decision to make. I did get one while we're like kind of going through this. I did get one genie lamp before and I did use it. I used it on agility, but we've obviously got this very crappy grind going currently. I don't know where I want to put it because every little bit of XP from this book would be less of these statues. And less of these statues means that we need to do less pickpocketing, less XP, etc. I don't want to hold on to it too long because I'll you eliminate your chance of getting the random again. I'm going to go check and see how much XP I have banked currently crafting and see what this would equate to and see if it's worth using or not. All right, so I'm looking at it right now. I've got banked level four crafting. The book of knowledge is 15 times your current level in the skill. So if I use the book on level four crafting, that would give us 60 XP, which is equivalent to basically 12 of these statutes. That times four roughly is like 48 less houses that it seems like it's probably worth doing. But I kind of wanted to wait because at the I just wanted to do all these statutes at once and just see a massive XP increase. I'm gonna have to think about this one a little bit. I don't I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna get another quiz random really quickly or another uh, book of knowledge anytime soon. So I'll have time and think about it. Maybe if I get a genie, I'll, I'll pair the both and do it. We'll see. All right. Uh, as classic Spoon does, missed the milestone. Twenty thousand valuables. Not too bad. I think. I was lucky. I think we are going to still be somewhere around the 200-ish thousand mark. Maybe a little bit less, but we're getting there. All right. I don't think this is going to help us for anything, but we got to flip a random. So we'll do this. All right. Let's see what we get. Nice. Five cut sapphires, which do nothing for us because I can buy those. It's okay, though. Worth it. Always. Got to do the randoms because it keeps you saying, guys. Well, classic spoon. Just missed it. 78 thieving. Boom. All right, I'm not going to say his name for obvious reasons, but Mr. Poser here is on a race. His goal was Rocky or 99. I'm obviously here for a very long time, so I challenged him to first to Rocky uh, owes the other a bond. So we will see what happens. Best of luck to you, Mr. Poser. Best of luck. May the best man win. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. 99. Ding. Quick shout out to the boys. Ben Manny 2. Zero socials, but still a shout out on YouTube, my boy. All right, guys. Well, this is the end of another day. Uh, I'm sitting at 1.94 mil XP. And we have, if I look, we've got this, which is 91 statutes. So that's just about 10% done. Uh, still don't know if I'm going to lamp this or not or book this. I really don't know. I am thinking I'm going to wait for like 10 more statutes, then lamp it, uh, because then I'll be six. This is enough for like five and a half. So if I get to six, that gets me an extra 15 XP from this, which is three more statutes. So every little bit will count at that point. And then if I end up using them and lamping slash booking, then I will start to bring a chisel with me um, because I will end up just chiseling them as we go so that way we're always uh the highest level possible for any more books or genies so but yeah that's where we're sitting and just under three days we'll hit three days tomorrow 
So good night. All right. We'll quickly review all these chunk tasks. Haven't touched cooking yet. Fire making and wood cutting is completed, but we won't scratch that off yet because of the fire making portion we haven't done yet. 43 crafting. Yeah, we're a long ways away. 65 fletching. We might even be further away depending on how you look at it. But thieving. We finished. Let's give that nice big green check mark. And that's all of our chunk tasks. All right. Well, now that we went through all of the chunk tasks and updated the current one that we finished, um, I think without further ado, we'll end it here. I'll see you guys next week in episode six. And until then, I got yelled at for not giving doggo pets enough. So let's shoo him away and just say, you know what? I do what I want. Okay.